guys how do do welcome to transition program users this is a basic tutorial we're going to see how to load data of course into a data grid view okay simple data from a simple uh, array we come click our add button right here our data gets added you can see right here guys this is a, a beginner tutorial absolute beginner tutorial is going to introduce us of course to our data grid view so welcome we get started the first thing go ahead create your project once you've created your project come over to a designer make sure you can just search a data grid view over right here okay data grid view then drag it over to your form once you've dragged it right here you can see i'm already having uh one mine right here and then also make sure that you add a button of course once you've added it yeah that's it just double click your button is going to take us over right here to our project okay so it's going to generate for us this add button click uh method right here well, uh, our event handler so for us what we're going to do here is very simple remember this is a data grid view so far it's empty what you want to do is very simple let's come over right here then create a simple uh, method that's going to fill for us data so let's come right here say fill data for us we're going to call uh, this method of uh, we're going to just call it fill data now for us it's going to be simple the first thing of course before we come over there we need to come and then set the properties for our data grid view we need to define the number of columns and of course the column headers for us to do that one just come right here and then add this piece of code take note right here three three this one right here is our column count the number of columns that we're going to add take note that this data grid view one right here that we're going having it it's our data grid view that we had in our form okay so data grid view one over we set its column count to three then of course we come over right here set our columns our first column is going to its header is name second one propellant third one description then of course once we have that one we're going to set auto size uh, our auto size columns mode we're going to set it to uh, dot fill okay while we're doing that one what we want is simple if we run our project the first thing we run our project of course all our columns are going to fill our data grid view that's why you are doing that one so then right here inside our fill data method what we're going to do is simple let's just come over right here okay we're going to say okay so what we're going to do here is simple we're going to create a simple array that we're calling row this is going to represent a single row of data in our data grid view then we add our data okay so our first row over here we're going to have this one as the name these are the propellant and then of course these are the description take note once we've of course uh assigned data to our array over right here then of course we come make sure that we add this particular row to our rows collection data grid one dot rows dot add so that's how we add but then of course if we run this one right here this is going to give us one row now to add more rows we can simply type a more data right here as you can see so take note first we come and then of course reinsertiate our array then of course assign it as some data then we add that particular row array to our data grid so this is going to be our second one third one fourth one etc so that's it guys that's how we add data to our data grid view of course once we've done that one we shall want to do it if our field add button is clicked so we simply come right here call our field data okay that's it guys that's it that's how we load our data and of course we run our project if we run over right here we have it of course then if we click add you can see our data gets added okay it was a beginner to show guys i'm hoping you guys have enjoyed it if you have hit the like button stay tuned so that uh you don't miss any of our tutorials and please make sure that you subscribe otherwise guys take care i'll catch you in the next tutorial